pregnant women who acquire the Zika virus sometimes have babies with birth defects. An extremely small head, which causes some developmental problems and causes neurological issues. But experts say only one out of five people who acquire the virus have any symptoms, which may include fever, rash, headaches, eye irritation, and joint pain. It usually clears up in a week. 80% of the people who become infected with this don't even know that they have an infection, much like we see with West Nile virus. Yellow fever mosquitoes and Asian tiger mosquitoes can carry the virus. They're not found in the majority of New Mexico, but they are in southern and eastern parts of the state. If it shows up in those areas, there, there could potentially be some possibility of spread. Uh, as of now, that's, that hasn't been seen. Bernalillo County combats mosquitoes by distributing mosquito fish that eat the baby bugs before they grow. These fish have never eaten the species that carry Zika, but Smith says they have an appetite for all mosquitoes, and people with ponds can call the city and get some for free come June. Until then, you can stay safe by avoiding Brazil and other South American countries currently dealing with Zika outbreaks. If you do go there, take precautions. Long pants, long sleeves if possible, using an insect repellent that contains DEET as well. The city of Albuquerque plans to start spraying in May. Robert Richardson, KOAT Action 7 News. New Mexico